what's going on youtube jeans here hope you guys are having an amazing day today we are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive series 12 rank double battles for pokemon sword and pokemon shield in today's video we're going to be using two of the strongest restricted mods in the game we got ourselves a kyogre and groudon team you guys already know the deal if you do enjoy the content at any time make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video and if you're not subscribed to the channel seriously get on top of that we have plenty of new content coming towards the channel we got legends arceus playthrough we got legends arceus guides coming soon and we got series 12 pokemon sword shield alongside with bdsp competitive content so if that interests you definitely scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button it only takes a second of you guys time but right here we're rocking out with two of the strongest restricted mods like i already said in the game they are really really good we got ground on and Kyogre the only problem with these guys is they contradict themselves so playing them separately is going to be key to our victory we don't really want to get them in at the same time we kind of just want to use them separately in the same battle so if we could do that and play this team nicely I feel like this team could be absolutely dominant but let's get started here in that top left corner we have the one and only Kyogre with the drizzle ability so every time it hops into battle it's set in the rain we got mystic water as its item water spout origin pulse ice beam and protect a fairly normal moveset for any Kyogre Next to him is going to be his counterpart, Groudon. Every time it steps into battle, it's set in the sun. It's got that Citrus Berry as its item, then Rock Slide, Sword Dance, Precipice Blades for its stab ground move, and then Protect for its fourth and final move. Middle left is going to be Venusaur, and Venusaur is just top tier when paired up with Groudon. It doubles its speed in the sun, it's got that Koba Berry as an item, and then it's rocking this amazing move set of Leaf Storm for stab, Weather Ball for coverage, but does a lot of damage in any weather situation. Then it has Sludge Bomb and Sleep Powder to put Pokemon asleep. Middle right is going to be the Pokemon that pairs up with Kyogre. Everybody knows Tornadus is an absolute menace when it's paired up with Kyogre. We can go into Tailwinds, grab Speed Control, and have Kyogre dominate the battle. But this time around, this Tornadus is rocking the life orb. So we can just Dynamax him and get after the battle that way, which I really, really like. So this will definitely throw off a few of our opponents and help us get some victories. We got Hurricane, we got Weather Ball, Dark Pulse, and Tailwind alongside with that Prankster ability and Life Orb as its item. Bottom left hand corner is Incineroar. And yo, Incineroar, I'm not even going to say anything about it. You guys already know him. He can be used on any team and he'll work wonderfully. So Incineroar is in the bottom left hand corner. If you guys want to see him, you guys can do it yourself. Final Pokemon on the team is going to be Porygon 2 with Download and EV and the EV Light as its item. You guys already know Porygon 2 is here. Bulky can set Trick Room and just be a pester around on the battle. It has Ice Beam for coverage, Eerie Impulse for special attack drops, Recover for to get HP back, and last but not least, Trick Room to take that speed control away from any team. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, we got that rental code right at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder, look to get some wins with this Kyogre Groudon Series 12 team. So as you guys know, my last two Series 12 Pokemon Sword and Shield videos were actually on the casual ladder. This is my first time hopping onto the ranked double ladder for Series 12. So let's see if we can get us started off strong. Hopping into our first battle, let's see who we're going up against. We're going up against, okay, ooh, yo, pretty cool team. He's got Zacian and Shadow Rider Calyrex team with Landris, Regilecki, G-Max Blastoise, and is that Stoutland? I'm kind of scared because I have no idea what that Pokemon does, but hopefully we can get after this one and grab ourselves a win here for our first rank battle in the new series. But how should we go into this one? How should we play? He might lead Regilecki, and Regilecki could kind of be annoying. Might want to straight up lead Intimidate. Could be solid. Intimidate, maybe go into... Does this thing have Parting Shot? I didn't even read its thing, so I kind of forget. <laughs> it does have Parting Shot. Okay, so we're going to go in with the Instant War. Really good Fake Out Control. Uh, Stoutland, I think, maybe learns Fake Out. I think he's going to go on the Regilecki, which could definitely be scary. So we're going to go in the Groudon. Venusaur, and then in the back end, I really want Kyogre. I really want Kyogre, so this is what, exactly what we're going to do. We're going to rock out with his squad, and we're going to see if we can grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. Yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. I am really liking this, and the reason I'm liking this so much is because I really do think he's going to lead that Regilecki, and Regilecki could definitely be a threat to us. So if I can get Groudon out there alongside with a fake out user, we could be getting pretty good here. We can get, get going pretty good. And then say he leads a Blastoise or something else, I can just protect the ground on, maybe parting shot out, and get out maybe Tornadus or Venusaur, because I have the sun, and then we can just get rolling from there. But at that point, then he can set the weather, but most of the time, they're not rocking Max Geyser, they're rocking G-Max Canyon Aid, so I don't really have to worry about weather changing up against our opponent here. So I'm liking this, I'm liking this. And then if we want to change weather to something that we like, we also have the Kyogre in the backup. We have two different weather swap-ins on this team, which I really, really enjoy. So weather, it's basically in our favor at all times, unless they're rocking like a Sandstorm team. Or a team that we're using. Say they're rocking a heat team and we're only bringing ground on. Then they can have weather too. Let's see who we're going to rock into. There's the Regilecki. There's the Blastoise. Great little turn by me. Um, Could protect. I could definitely protect. And I'm thinking of protecting and just uh, parting shotting out here. Because I'm going to predict the Dynamax coming out from the, uh, the Blastoise maybe. 
right? It's gotta be, right? It's gotta be. We're gonna parting shot. We're out of here. We're gonna bring our Venus Ray out here. So we'll parting shot here. And I'm just gonna protect you. I could drop a Precipice Blades. I could set up a Swords Dance. But again, I just think protecting you is going to be our best play. And then rocking out into that Venusaur and maybe Dynamax in from there. I kind of like that. Because I'm either protecting a swap or protect from that Regilecki. There's no way he stays in here, right? There's just no shot he stays into this battle. He's got to be swapping. This guy could be using... Oh, he could be using an Ice Move to change up the weather. That could be bad for us. That could be bad. I did not even think about the Ice Move. I did not think about the Ice Move. So let's just see what he does. We shall see what he does. And if he drops the ice, he drops the ice. I mean, we could swap into Kyogre at that point. That is definitely an option. But it's not that bad. It's not that bad here. Let's see what he does. Dynamax and obviously with that uh with that blast And we're gonna hope he's not going into ice. We're gonna hope that he's not going into ice. Let's see what he does here. Blast gets get that dynamax. We're party shot right into it. Right into it. We're hoping he's going for a candy nade right into the ground inside. That's exactly what we we're hoping here. Let's see what Reggie does. There's no way Reggie stays in here. He's got a protector swap, right? He protects. Okay. So big protect coming out from Reggie Lackey. Kind of read that all day. So he protects him. I'm protecting my boy. Let's get ripped in here. Let's do it. Let's do it. What's he going for? Or do, or do we go first? He goes first and he goes for the geyser. Oh, yo, he has guy. He's not canyonating. I just realized he's not G-Max. He's going to go after my Incineroar. And Incineroar is able to eat that up. So he's going to switch up weather. I'm kind of cool with that. Right? I'm kind of cool with that. Do we go in with Kyogre instead of Venusaur now? Hard shot comes out here. Give me that special attack drop. So that's huge. So we're going to drop that thing special attack. We could bring out... We could bring out Venusaur here. We could indeed bring out Venusaur here. And then swap the Groudon for Kyogre. And go that way. That could definitely be our play. You know, the electric is definitely scaring me. Hmm. It's a genius player. What is the genius player? What do I want to do? What do I want to do here? I could definitely go into you. I do like you. I do like this. Or we can go into Kyogre. We could Dynamax him. I could go into Venusaur and Dynamax him. Hmm. I definitely want to go into Venusaur over Kyogre here. Actually, no. Let's go into Kyogre. Let's go into Kyogre. Maybe just protect that and drop a Bleeds. Hmm. Is that what we want to do? Kind of tough. This is really tough. We got to protect him. And we could go... Let's swap into Incineroar and let Incineroar go out here. What do I want to do? What does Jeans want to do here? <laughs> this is so tough. This is so tough. Yeah, yeah. We're going to swap into Incineroar here. And if Incineroar goes down, Incineroar goes down. It's not too big of a deal. Because I think I have a plan set up in the back of my head right now. I think we're setting up pretty good here. Say Incineroar goes down here. I really don't mind it. Regilecki's going to uh, go after my Kyogre. We'll block that. Then we just bring out Venusaur and we swap the Kyogre for the Groudon and we get after the battle that way. I really do think that's the play. Eerie Impulse comes out here. Awesome. We block that. That's lovely. And we might stay in here. Let's see what he goes for. He's going for a Geyser. Okay. So we can take out Incineroar all day. So Incineroar's going to drop out here. Fine by me. We don't need that. We wasted two turns there. And in this case, we bring out Venusaur, we swap the Kyogre for the Groudon, and we get going from there. And we get going from there. Right? Yeah, I really do like that play. We'll take Weather all day. We'll do this all day. But my question here is, does he go for an Eerie Impulse? So I put Pokemon to sleep. What do I do here? So I don't want him to Eerie Impulse me and kind of just waste my turns. You know what I'm saying? I really don't want to waste my turns. So you know what? We're just going to go in the Groudon here. Maybe it might go into an eerie, eerie Impulse into my Kyogre slot, which could be awesome. But I'm just going to Dynamax here, and I could go for a Vine Lash. Could definitely go for a Vine Lash, or I can go for an Ooze. But I think Vine Lash is going to be our best bet. Doing some damage over onto that Blast Switch, and just rolling out from here. So I kind of like where we're sitting, y'all. Playing this one slow, he's going to Dynamax early on there and have decent control on us. But we're playing some really good swap in and outs right now. If we win this battle, this is going to be amazing. If we win this battle, this could be so clutch for us. So we're going to swap the weather here. Let's dynamax Max your Venusaur. We should be faster than Regilecki on the field now. Let's see how he plays this one. I'm kind of hoping he goes into Eerie Impulse into my uh, Groudon slot. That would be amazing because we're physical attacking on the side. That can just be huge. That could be huge. So we'll get off this huge shot right here. And more importantly, we'll get the Vine Lash damage chipping away here. Hopefully he's not guarding here. Let's see. He goes for an Eerie Impulse right into the ground on slot. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Drop my... I can't believe that actually connects. 
It is an electric move. That's kind of whack. But Vine Lash going to poke out here. Do we pick up a KO? That's the real question. No KO, but still some big BP damage. And what's he going to go for here? Might go for an ice move. Let's see what he does here. Oh, we're going to proc policy. God dang it. God dang. Let's see what this thing actually goes for. He's going to go for a max strike. Okay, I'm cool with the max strike coming out here. He's going to lower our speed. That's fine. We should be able to surf that up all day. Okay, cool. Vine Lash damage is going to start chipping away. And what I can do here now is, uh, hmm. What should I do here? What should I do here? The speed's going to drop, but we're still going to be decently fast with our, uh, we should still be faster with our Venusaur over that Blastoids. And I could protect my Groudon. I really could protect my Groudon. But I, I don't think that's the play. I just think going for maybe like a Blades here could be the play. Taking out you. And then maybe just oozing just to get my special attack up here. Because we know he's going to Eerie Impulse, right? We know he's going to Eerie Impulse. So going into this could be really, really good. Or I could just protect. Could indeed protect. Let's just protect this turn. Just have that get the double kill, right? Let's do it. Because we know the Eerie Impulse is going to poke out here. We know for a big fact that Eerie Impulse is definitely poking out here. So, let's see this one. Oh, Regilecki protects. Wow. Never mind. Should just ooze. Should have just oozed here. Wow, he really protects that. He really protects that. What a smart little play here. He's going to go for the yawn here. Yo, you buttery biscuit. He yawns up on my boy. Um, We're going to be able to get off one more turn here. Blade's going to poke out here. He's going to get blocked by you. And then this is just going to fly through here. And should be able to take out Blast, so it's no problem. So we still have our Kyogre in the back, which is really, really good. We still have Kyogre in the back. We still have Venusaur, who should be decently fast here. Chipping up damage right there with that. And we can get off another Blades here. So we have one more turn left with a ground. And he cannot protect the Regilecki. And he's going to Eerie Impulse into me, so... One's going to be cutting it close. It's definitely going to be cutting it close. If we can get rid of Regilecki here, I feel like we could be sitting in such a good position. I really do. And he probably has Restricted Monsters shown in the back. A great battle this is a great battle let's see who he goes into who are you going into kind sir because we 1000 percent have to go into a uh blades here and blades will take out you as long as he doesn't get that double protect and i don't see a pokemon that he has to really take out my ground on in one shot who did he have he had zassian and calyrex okay i feel i see him i see this guy he's got to go in the zassian here right no way he goes in zassian i don't know let's see yeah, there's Zassian. Okay, so Zassian pokes out here. Um, Blades is obviously to play. He might protect that, which I could definitely see happening. And in this case, we could just go into a Weather Ball here. I'm just going to go into a Blades here, and I think we... Oh, this doesn't change into Weather. Okay. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Another Vine Lash, or we could go into Ooze. But Vine Lash probably our player. Even though it's not very effective, we have to get off as much damage as we possibly can over onto this guy. So let's rip it up. Let's do him dirty here. Like I said, I think the Eerie Impulse is going to poke here, but we shall see. That's why I want the guard last turn to kind of just try to block that. Let's we'll see what this one, this guy goes into. But if I can get off one Precipice Blades here, but I, it would be awesome. He ends up protecting with his Zassian. That's totally fine. Zassian gets off that Protect. He's going to go for an E-Web. E-Web doesn't affect Groudon, but it affects my Venusaur. We're going to slow down my Venusaur. Venusaur was already slowed down, so I'm not too worried about that. And then we're going to get off this Blades. And as long as this Blades connects, we're thriving here. Vine Lash poking through here. Over into him. He's protected. A little bit of damage. Just a little bit of damage. Just a tad bit of damage. And Blades, can you connect with that Regilecki, please? Please, please connect. Thank you. Thank you very much, Regilecki. Get out my face. So he's going to bring out his final Pokemon. We still have the Kyogre in the back end. This one's going to be super close. This is such a good battle to start off Series 12. Such a good battle to start off Series 12. Chip up some damage on there. We could go Weather Ball. Um, oh, but our Groudon's asleep. Oof. Ouch. That one hurts. That one definitely hurts. We probably should have read the Protect Swap to Groudon. Could have been an awesome play there. He brings out his final Pokemon. It's going to be Shadow Rider Calyrex. So Calyrex pokes out here. Uh, my Dynamax turns are over. My Dynamax turns are over. I wonder what he's going to go into. I wonder how this one's going to play here. We're back to normal speed here because we are minus two. And I obviously am just going to go for a Blades here if I can connect it. And I could go for a Weather Ball. I could indeed go for a Weather Ball. And I'm going to try it. If we can land this Weather Ball, that could be huge for us. That could be huge. That could be huge. But he has two Pokemon that are super, super fast on the field. Super fast. Definitely outspeed both my Pokemon or even my Kyogre in the back end. But what a battle, yo. What a battle to get this series started. Even if we lose, I feel like we played solid here. I feel like our opponent just had a 
bit other Pokemon to kind of just counter us. But we're kind of hoping our Venus can actually soak that up. Venus, soak that up, please. I don't think you can. He does, yo. Do not target down my Venus. Blade comes out here. Go after Groudon. Go after Groudon. Go after Groudon. Go after Groudon. Ah! Dang it, dude. If he went after Groudon there, that's an easy dub. It's an easy dub. Because that Weather Ball would have did some huge damage. Groudon slumped. We got to bring out our boy here. My last chipping up. We could protect the Kyogre here. We could protect the Kyogre. Or we could just go into a straight shot here and hope that my boy wakes up. I think we have to go into like a Water Pulse or something, right? I think we have to. Or an Origin Pulse. Probably your best play, right? Origin Pulse? Yo, look at, look at who's out on the field. Calyrex, Zacian, Kyogre, and Groudon. Okay. Actually, his team works well with Groudon and Kyogre out together. Considering, especially if they don't have any water types, we don't have any uh, fire moves. So we're going to go in the Blades, and I'm just going to drop an Origin Pulse. There's no need to protect here. There's no need to protect. Because we got to either hope Groudon wakes up or my Kyogre survives and we can slap up. But I think he doubles down into Kyogre here, and he hopes that another turn is asleep. But we shall see how close this is. This battle is going to be so close. Maybe he thinks we're protecting. I kind of would rather get off a Kyogre shot here. Because Origin Pulse might be able to double down and pick up a double KO. Or the victory. Oh my lord. Yo, what a battle, yo. What a battle. Such a good battle here. Let's see who this dude pokes into. Let's see what this dude does. He's definitely going for, I think, maybe another Behemoth Blade or something. A quick attack comes through. I'm with that all day. Go for your quick attack. Astro Barrage comes through. Can you eat? Kyogre can definitely eat that up. We know Kyogre can. Groudon probably dead here, right? Groudon's dead. Yo, Kyogre, clutch it up. Clutch it up. Do him dirty. Do him dirty. Yo, this might be a double KO for the win. Get it done. Get it done, dude. Origin Pulse pokes. It pokes out. Win this battle for us, yo. Do some big damage. Oh, my God. I am the greatest Series 12 Pokemon player on planet Earth. That one was for you guys. What a first battle for Series 12. We start off on the rank ladder 1-0. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm an absolute god at this game. What a first battle. We were swapping in and out. That guy totally had the upper hand early on us, but we made some great plays swapping our Kyogre and Groudon in and out at perfect times to grab ourselves a win. But we're hopping into our second battle here for Series 12, going up against a Kyogre and Ice Fighter Calyrex team. Okay, double weather team just like us. He's rocking out with the Kyogre for rain. He has the Torkoal for drought. He has the Venusaur for drought uh, or, or double speed in the drought. And then he has Swift Swim, Seismic Toad along side with Ice Rider Calyrex and Mimikyu. So in this case, I got a lead Tornadus. I can either set a Tailwind. I can kind of get after the battle that way. I can also go into Incineroar and maybe fake out and kind of just control the battle that way. Maybe parting shot from there too. Could be really, really good. So definitely want to go into Tornadus. I don't know if I want to lead the Incineroar. I could lead the Kyogre. Kyogre could be a great lead here. Could be a great lead, but it really depends on who he goes into. That's the real question, is who he goes into. So I am going to lead the Kyogre. Definitely want to bring Groudon in the back end. And do I bring Venusaur? Or do I bring it in Cinnaroar? I kind of just want to bring Venusaur. I really wonder what he's going to go into here. I am wondering. I'm very, very curious. I am super curious here. I mean, if he leads it... Oh, the Calyrex could be tough. The Calyrex could be tough if he goes into Mimikyu and Trick Room. But I don't think he's going to do that. I do not think he's going to do that. If he does, yo, we're sitting in a tough spot. We really are. But that's the crazy part about this series. Is there's so many different possible leads that you can go into. Like, this guy can go Torkoal Venusaur. He can go Mimikyu Calyrex. He can go Swift Swim Seismitoad and Kyogre. So many different options. Or he can switch out and swap through a bunch of different ones. He can lead the Seismitoad alongside with the Venusaur. And then have Torkoal and Kyogre in the back to swap out whichever option he thinks better. Like, there's so many different options on how to play this series. It is absolutely crazy. And I've been loving it so far. Definitely a lot of fun. He goes Venusaur and Kyogre. That's fine. So he's probably going to swap into the Torkoal. And in this case, uh, what do we do from here? We could just drop a straight up Origin Pulse and go into an Air Shot. Could indeed do that. Or I can set up a Tailwind and take Speed Control that way. I could. I could go Tailwind into Protect. Which I might do. Tailwind into Protect. Just to kind of take Speed away. If I had to guess, he's going to swap into the, what's it called? The Torkoal, right? And maybe go for like a Vine Lash shot onto us. So I'm just protecting, setting up Tailwind and kind of getting into the turn that way. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Let's see what this guy does. 
Hopefully he doesn't just go into like an origin pulse or something because that could definitely do me dirty. But I don't see him really saying it with that Kyogre. I'm predicting just a swap out, right? Like you got you got to think he's swapping out, right? Both reigns on the field. He would love to take one of the control here with Venusaur. Yeah, there's a swap out. You got to be going for a Vine Lash into my Kyogre. So we're just going to protect him. We're going to get Tailwind and we're going to take speed control. We are going to take speed. I love it. 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 We'll see what he does. Hopefully he goes after Kyogre, right? He's got to go for Vine Lash to Kyogre. But guys, I forgot to even mention question of the day. Do you guys think Pokemon Legend Arceus is a top tier Pokemon game? Let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. Because I absolutely love it. And I do believe it is a top tier Pokemon game. But hey, I don't judge you guys on your opinion. So I would love to hear your guys' response in the comment section down below. But this guy does exactly what I think he's going to do. He swaps to the Torkoal. And he brings out Venusaur. And is he going to Vine Lash here? I'm hoping he's Vine Lashing into Kyogre. Because in this case, we can waste out a Dynamax here and we kind of get rolling out from there. Let's say going to poke, and we can see how much damage we could possibly do up onto this Torkoal. With an Origin Pulse, maybe. So he goes for a Quake. Okay, so he's quaking into my Kyogre slot. That's kind of fine by us. We can soak that up all day. But he, and more importantly, he gets a huge special special defense boost. Okay. Uh, bum, 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 bum. What do I want to do? Do I Dynamax Tornadus here? I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about Dynamaxing him, and maybe just... Or I could just go straight into a Weather Ball here. And save my Dynamax. I'm with that all day. We'll go into a Weather Ball. And uh, we could go for a Water Spout. Water Spout should do more damage. And I think that my boy outspeeds. But I think this might be a better. No, we're going into a Water Spout here. I'm going to Water Spout. We should outspeed, right? With that Tailwind. Kyogre should be faster than that. He withdraws a Torkoal. That's fine by me. And who's he going to go into? Size Patrol. So he goes into Size Patrol. And he might swap back in. What's, what's he doing here? Weather Ball comes out of here. That's some big damage. Get some big damage off on Venusaur. So we know if he stays in with Venusaur, we take it out next shot. Vine Lash can come through here, and that takes out my Kyogre, right? Kyogre's dead. Oh, he eats. Oh, but Vine Lash is going to take him out. Vine Lash is going to take him out here, and we should have went for the Origin Pulse. Should have definitely went for the Origin Pulse, because this does absolutely no damage. Now, <laughs> I thought Kyogre maybe had a shot at outspeed him, but it is what it is. So Tornado's going to drop down there. He might guard next turn. He might guard next turn. Definitely my guard next turn. And we can bring out Venusaur from here. Don't we have Venusaur? We do. Venusaur could definitely be our play. I do like that play. We could go Venusaur. And I think Venusaur is going to have to be our Dynamax. Or we can keep him in here and save our Dynamax for uh, Groudon. Hmm. We go for a Hurricane. But Weather Ball is 1000% our play. Weather Ball is 100% our play. We could drop a Leaf Storm here as well. Or I could just put this thing to sleep. I'm kind of liking putting this thing to sleep. But I'll drop my special attack right away. Yeah, I'm with that all day. But still, let's put Size to sleep. We'll take out Venusaur with a Weather Ball if he stays in. And there's the guard. So I kind of knew the guard was coming. But I didn't mind it because we know Sleep Powder is flying across this way. So, night-night. Night-night, Size Episode. That's fine. We'll Weather Ball next turn. We still have our Dynamax. I'm kind of waiting to decide if I want to use that. Because I don't want to Dynamax my... Uh... Actually, I could Dynamax my Venusaur. We have Tailwind. I was going to say, I don't want to Dynamax my Venusaur with Drought Sign out here. The Vine Lash can chip away. We can Weather Ball yet again if we want to. But he might swap the Venusaur here. We'll see. We shall see. Hmm. Weather Ball for sure. And I think I'm just going to Sludge Bomb and chip away some damage here. Or I could just go into... I could Leaf Storm him. I might end up Dynamax here. Because how many turns left in Tailwind? Let me see. Is there one more turn left in Tailwind? There is. So it's a perfect time to actually... uh. Dynamax or Venusaur. Perfect time to, to Dynamax or Venusaur. Perfect, perfect time. And the reason I say it's a perfect time here is because, say, he swaps. Okay, he's going to swap now. That's totally fine by us. He's going to bring out Torkoal. That's fine by me. But I was going to say, say he swaps into whatever he has. We're just going to Dynamax and Tailwind's going to end. And then we're just going to set up another Tailwind. So, I'm kind of with this all day. I'm with this all day. So, we're going to take out that size. We're going to start getting this Vine Lash damage chipping away. And we have to get rid of that... Uh, we do have to get rid of that Torkoal. We do have to get rid of that Torkoal because that Torkoal can do some mean damage onto us. Mean, mean damage. The Vine Lash is going to poke through here. We're going to say bye bye to Size Patrol all day, later, and we're going to dump on you. We are going to dump on you, but Torkoal's definitely scaring me. We do have the Groudon in the back end, which could dump on it with a Blades. But it is scary to see what he's going to bring out here. We're going to first Weather Ball, and how much damage are we really going to do on this thing? <laughs> how much damage are we going to do onto this Torkoal? Let's see. 
That's not bad. Yo, that is not bad damage. A lot more than I thought it would do. Tornadus is ripping up with that life orb. But, yo, this Vine Lash damage is teen off on him. We have Vine Lash damage chipping away now, which is lovely. We have Torkoal down to half health. Tailwind Peter's out. We could set up another one if we have to. We might not even have to. Really depends who he brings out here. It really depends. And I'm kind of hoping he brings out... Doesn't he have Kyogre? I don't even know if he brought Kyogre. He did. He did bring Kyogre. So we know his last few Pokemon. He's going to bring back out Venusaur. So he wants speed here. He wants to take it that way. And in this case, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to Tailwind. And I am going to go for an Ooze over on here. And hope that we can KO this. He might be rocking Weather Ball. But we can eat up a Weather Ball. I'm cool with this. And if we can Ooze here, then I can just bring out Groudon. And I can kind of get ripping up from there. So you know, Tailwind's going to poke. We are taking speed away from all of you. Give me speed. Ooze fine through here. And we need Ooze to KO here, right? We basically need Ooze to KO here. And it does indeed. Beautiful. Lovely. Awesome. Dope. Cool. So now he's forced to bring out Venusaur, making his Venusaur slower than my Groudon. We pretty much had this locked up. I'm like him percent We have one more turn left in Dynamax, which I could predict. I could predict the protect. Oh, but it goes into Weather Ball and Tornas. We love that. We love that. I don't mind that one bit. Tornas can go down. Tornas did so much work. He did so much work in this battle. And I was contemplating Dynamax in all battle, but it worked out perfectly for us. So we're going to actually see who has weather. I kind of want him to have rain. I kind of want him to have rain. Hopefully. Dude, no. Oh, yeah. He is going to have rain. We have Tailwind out. Make the ground on faster. Drought's going to come in first. Rain's going to come in second. And that's exactly what I want. That's exactly what I want. I would rather have him have rain so his Venusaur is slower. Because I can just Vine Lash into Kyogre whenever I want and finish that thing off. Leaf Storm it. Just keep going in with that. We're plus one on special attack. And my ground, I can take out Venusaur pretty much at any time here. Right? Can we? Actually, I don't know. It's going to be kind of close. Go for Rock Slide. Rock Slide should be able to take it out, but Blades? Oh, Blades will. All right, so we'll go for a Blades, and in this case, we're just going to chip up with this. Got to do it. Got to do it all day, and this battle's looking so good. Just cancel it out, dude. Cancel it out for us. We've been playing so well for Series 12, these first two battles. So, so well. He does not protect Vine Lash coming in here. We're plus one on Special Attack. Kyogre, get on out my face. You are dead. You are gone. You are gone. And even if he takes out my... Oh, you outspeed me? You outspeed my Groudon. Oh, the rain didn't come in here. The drought came out first. Wow. So Tailwind had nothing to do with that. Okay. Tailwind had nothing to do with that. I was just imagining that the rain was in the field. I didn't even pay attention. But it's all good. He puts me to sleep. We still pose a huge threat. We still pose a huge threat. We have Weather Ball ready to rock. And we outspeed that thing all day. So get him out of here. Get him out of my face. Weather Ball for the win. Weather ball for the win. Later, skater. Later, skater. And we are dominating. We are playing so well. I feel like we are playing like top tier Pokemon battles. We're swapping in and out, making great calls, making great reads, and just winning battles left and right. Just put me in Master Ball tier already. Just put me in that high tier. We are making our way towards the top. We are sitting at 2 0 in Series 12. And we're looking for that perfect record for today's video. Let's see who we're going up against a Zacian and Shadow Rider Calyrex team with Whimsicott, Charizard, Venusaur, and then he has a Regilecki. Venusaur's kind of throwing me off because he has no way of setting sun unless Charizard Dynamax. So, in this case, I kind of want to go Tornadus just to take uh, Speed Control. He does have Whimsicott, who he might lead. And I kind of want to go into Groudon from here. His Groudon could be really, really good in a Tailwind. And in case he leads Regilecki. So, we're going to go here. We're going to go Kyogre. And then I'm thinking last but not least, Venusaur just works so well. Venusaur does just work so well. But he has a lot of special attackers. I mean, Venusaur is just great. It has Weather Ball. If we have Weather Control, I just really like the squad. So we're not going to be showing off P2 today. Even though you guys already know what P2 really does. He's kind of there for Trick Room. He is decent in Dynamax. He's there for some eerie impulses, which could have actually brought him in. Could have been pretty nice. Could have been pretty nice. But let's see what this guy's cooking up with. Kazuma. Kazuma over here. Where's this Kyle Kuzma <laughs> from, from the NBA? <laughs> well, let's see. He's going to end up throwing out Venusaur and Wimscott. Okay, so we set the drought. That's kind of buns for us. That is kind of buns for us. Um, So what I could end up doing here is protecting... Or I could swap. I could swap and then just hurricane onto him. This might be my play. I'm thinking about doing that. Hopefully, he's not having the Cobra Berry. 
That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to swap. I'm swapping. Even though he might go for a Vine Lash. Never know. We need to get this weather off. We got to hope maybe he does not Dynamax. Maybe he's trying to go for Sleep Powders or something along those lines. But Venusaur is just a prime Dynamax Pokemon. He's just so good. We swap. We change weather. And he's Dynamaxing. <laughs> Hopefully we can land a crit. Maybe. Ooh, maybe should have Dynamaxed. See what this dude goes into. If he doesn't have a Cobra Berry, we could potentially do enough damage to KO this thing. We shall see. If he goes into Tailwind, we do not outspeed him, but I don't really see him going into the Tailwind. Maybe a helping hand. Let's see what he does here. Tailwind? He charms me. Okay. We're special attacking. We swap. We're special. Hurricane comes out here, and he has a Cobra Berry. You son of a biscuit, man. Cobra Berry comes out here. Next shot should potentially be able to take him out. Give him the ducks, though. Give him the ducks. Give him the ducks! No ducks. I never get the ducks. Final Lash comes out here. Later, Kyogre. All right, Kyogre's gone. I'm kind of fine with that. I might end up Dynamax to Tornadus. i bring out my own Venusaur. Could do that. What do I want to do? Final Lash chipping, dude. He's chipping. But we can't really do anything until he's gone. I'm going to bring out Venusaur. Yeah, we're going to bring out Venusaur here. And we go for another hurricane. We have to we have to go down onto that hurricane slot. And I could go for Sludge Bomb? What was my play? What's my play? Definitely hurricane, right? Yeah, we're definitely gonna hurricane here. I'm gonna Dynamax my uh my dude right here. I'm just gonna go for an ooze. I think that's a play. I think that's a play. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm kinda scared here. We'll see if we have, we have to set up a talent. Because I don't think he can take out my Tornadus in one shot, right? I don't think he can. I don't think he can. So Venusaur is just our prime Dynamax Pokemon for this team. I think we Dynamax them all three battles, right? I think we did. But it's tough. We went up against a lot of Venusaur, Joe. And the Vine Lash just tees off. Like, Venusaur is definitely a huge counter onto our team. Because, you know, it's super effective onto the Groudon. It's super effective onto the Kyogre. Two of our restricted mons. It just does work. It just does work. Especially with the Pester damage, with the Vine Lash damage. It really just does a lot of damage all around. So Venusaur Dynamax is definitely top tier. Hands down, it is. It's phenomenal. I think it's way better than... I don't think it's way better, but I think it is better than Charizard. Not 1v1, obviously, because Charizard has typing advantage. But all around, Venusaur just has a great moveset pool here. He's going to go for a Talent. Let's see what he goes into here, though. Let's see really what he goes into. Because I don't think he can take out any of my Pokemon in one shot. He has an ooze, and yeah, he's not going to be able to take out my Pokemon in one shot. He's going to go after you. We can soak that up all day. I can set up a free Tailwind next turn. And we can get after damage that way. So if he gets off his special attack boost, we're going to do the same. And maybe we might be able to take him out here. It would be absolutely amazing. Hurricane comes out. Bop. And we take him out. That's beautiful. What a turn by us. Dude, Tornadus is fire. This Tornadus setup is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Like, I don't mind that the what's called did go down there. I, I do not mind that a Kyogre went down there. Just for the sheer fact is we got the rain out there. Of course, this thing's sash. But we got the rain out there. To make our Tornadus land as Hurricanes, no problem. Like, that that really just clutched. That was huge clutch in the battle. Taking on this Dynamax like that. Now I can set up a Tailwind. And we kind of just get rolling from there. Kind of just get rolling from there. And, of course, never mind, dude. The dang Vine Lash damage. I always forget about it. I always forget about the Vine Lash Pester damage. It's so annoying. So he's going to try to charm me, charm me. We already know that. So I'm going to protect my Groudon. I'm going to go into a Vine Lash into, I guess, this slot. Because, you know, then we can take out... Oh, this is, this is terrible. It's terrible. This is awful. We have to protect, though. I'm 100% protecting. I have to set... I have to get that Vine Lash chipping. Vine Lash chipping. Yeah, yeah. Protect. We don't want him to charm. That, that's my problem. I, we, I think he's going to charm. I'm just going to Vine Lash here. Just to get some damage off on this thing. And get the Vine Lash chipping away onto that uh, Winscott slot. And take him out from there. Because, again, I do think he's going for a charm, right? I think that's right. Yep. Charm blocked. Block it up. Double down to my ground on, please. Please and thank you. And now we guess for a blade here, which is going to be double damage here, but my boy should be able to soak up pretty well. Let's see how this, let's see how this one plays out here. Comes into me. Serious? Are you serious? We just lost. That's GG's. That is GG's. God dang it, dude. That really one-tapped me? Kind of ruined my whole plan. We had a fighting chance if that was the case. We had a fighting chance. 
But yo, I think Vine Lash damage was definitely MVP in this battle. We're gonna run it. We didn't get swept. We were able to take out his Venusaur, but it's all good. That Vine Lash damage took out my Tonanus, not allowing us to get off Tailwind. And we lost that battle. I've been saying this forever, ladies and gentlemen. That Pester damage on the G-Max Vine Lash and the Pester damage on the Wildfire has got to go. That is too much damage to be in this game. It really is. It is so much damage. I think it does need a nerf. It is obviously great when I'm using it because it does a lot of damage, but it is broken. It definitely is broken. It does so much damage throughout those four turns. It does more than half of the Pokemon's health every single time. It is absolutely crazy. It is crazy. But yo, solid video for us today. Went 2-1, and one, and both of our victories were absolutely amazing victories. We played super, super well in both those battles. Then that third and final battle, we kind of just got teed off on a little bit. But he did have the Vine Lash damage that did, did us dirty. If we would have got off that Tailwind, I think we would have been sitting pretty. But... Guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.